And here, this next topic we're going to talk about mm. is going to hit right on that mm -hmm. about being black in America. Mm -hmm. Folks, this next topic is... If you it's don't, not for children, I'll right. tell you that. Yeah. It ain't for children. I don't, that's a kind of... That's good way yeah. of saying that because yeah. it could be serious or funny. Uh -huh. You don't want to laugh. Because <laughs> yeah. it ain't for children. It's right, not. Folks, what's going on is this. Mm -hmm. In Philadelphia, a doctor's on trial. His name is Kermit... Goosnail. Okay. He's charged with seven counts of first degree murder mm. as well as mu multiple counts of conspiracy, criminal neglect, mm -hmm. and violation of state laws. Mm -hmm. What has this man done, folks? Doing abortions for over 31 oh, yeah. years. Yes. He's done over 16,000 abortions. Wow. I didn't know that many. That's a lot. Now he's on trial, and what we want to focus in on is this is not a big story. No, it's not. And this is a black doctor, even though you can't kind of tell, because at first, even Milo thought he was white when oh, the first yeah. time you see him. Well, he looked like a mafia uh, yeah. You know, <laughs> Come guy. Yeah, out there. Right. He, he's that, what's that, Thurgood Marshall black? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what he looked like. Matter of like. fact, that's what you can go, yeah, he you just know? got a beard. And I'm trying to figure out what team is he on. Mm -hmm. But the angle we're going to take is, because I didn't even think about this, when in my younger days, yep. but not too long ago, right. I got a girl pregnant. And we went to the abortion oh, yeah. clinic, right? Uh -huh. And I remember seeing the protesters out there, right? Uh -huh. This was in the Midwest, right? Mm -hmm. And it's now it could just be me. Y'all know how cynical I am. Right. Y'all tell me if this is a possibility. <laughs> okay. So as we coming up, you know, we black. Going to the clinic. Right, going to the abortion clinic, you know, because okay. we both young. Yeah. We're not ready for kids. Yeah. I'm not gonna say I want to have the baby, but I left it up to her because uh -huh. it's her body. Because I'm I'm against abortion, right? But I left it up to her, and you know she's young, you know college girl, whatever. Mm -hmm. So as we get up to the clinic, it looked like them protesters put their signs down, <laughs> wow. like they said, "Yeah, let let these niggas go ahead and kill <laughs> their babies." Wow, that's hard. Do you see any protesters in the inner city at those abortion clinics? You know what? You sure don't. No. And they, you you see nice little signs up there with what well, they call them family planning surgery centers. This is my thing, you know, mm -hmm. Gosling. I don't even, I don't want to call him Mister because it's it just it bugs me. I'm not even gonna right. lie it to you. It is a terrible yeah. story. Or doctor. Uh, yeah. I, I don't even want to call him that. Mm -hmm. Just call him killer. Yeah, there you go. That's what all of the abortion doctors do. Mm -hmm. Is you against it too, huh? Yeah. Okay. Because you know people people make it look like when they have uh, your your gray doctors and they have like these little sparkling white waiting rooms and everything is all draped and it looks all clean like you're just going in here and getting a kleenex or a pill or something abortion is violent mm. it is violent the legal abortion what they do is they take a vacuum and basically rip the baby apart and vacuum it out and that's legal and that's legal that's perfectly legal. If you've got, gotten a certain part, there's a like a little razor. It's like a razor loop that cuts the baby apart. You think that don't hurt? Mm. That baby got a heartbeat before you even know you're pregnant. You know, abortion itself is that it's an ugly, ugly thing. Mm. And yet, you got this person doing these horrible things to to black girls right. in a, in unsanitary conditions. Mm. I mean, you saw that document. They That's had right. as much blood in that waiting room as there was on the sidewalks in the Boston bombings. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play this clip for you. Listen to the prosecutor as he explained. And the prosecutor was black. Uh, right. I'm, well, they, we, had, they do we, that a lot. Well, if we, they know yeah. they don't want to look like they're going after a black person, so right. they'll put that black. It looked like Chris Darden and Marsha Clark yeah. going after OJ because right. there's a white woman there yeah. and a black man. Right. They, they do it because they don't want the white man. He's trying to get all slick. Yeah. Not, like you not your everyday about white man. The powerful ones. Okay. Huh? I was like that movie, you know, Milo was talking about flight where they had the black lawyer oh, coming man. after him. Or yeah, that. yeah, yeah. You Put know? him on his side. Yeah. Now, now listen to this clip. And then when we get back, we're going to talk about how, why the media not covering this. That's... Listen to this. This should be a big story. Okay. The grand jury, in addition to reporting their findings of the horrific and barbaric treatment of women and young girls, you know, they were very uh, upset and angered by what they thought was a disparate treatment, that uh, the treatment of these uh, patients was, in their mind, only allowed due to the fact that the supermajority of the patients were poor, that they were minorities, that they were brown uh, and black women.
Seventy percent of all abortion facilities are located in the black and minority communities around this country. Abortion is the number one killer of African Americans, killing more black people than all other deaths combined. Dr. Gosnell even had a separate room in his clinic for the young white women that would come that was slightly less squalid than the rest of the clinic. When asked by his staff why this was, he said, well, that's the way of the world. It would be more likely for those women to report uh, what had happened and what they saw at the clinic. Everything that was ever gained during the civil rights movement means nothing to a dead black child. Man, that was a... Uh, mm. You know what got me in that piece? Mm -hmm. It's how he says 70%. Now, I'm a conspiracy person. Right. And to me, that's not really conspiracy because I do my research. Mm -hmm. And the one aspect I never thought of, I knew drugs was put in our community to kill us off. I knew yeah. gun, gang bangers was giving guns to mm -hmm. kill us off. Mm -hmm. I knew sexual diseases was created to kill us off. That's right. They slipped this one by me. Right. Nerdy. I can't believe it. Went to sleep. Never on thought it. about that. Yeah. They yeah. was killing us before we even had a chance. Right. You're going back to, to in history. This is, what was that thing in, in Alabama, Tuskegee, when they was oh, testing? Yeah, that, this yeah. is the experiment. Tuskegee. And, and when they know, shot AIDS into, well, not AIDS, but uh, syphilis. syphilis. This man operated for, thir how many other doctors is out there? Mm -hmm. Well, it's in 70% in of those clinics. And you know what gets me? Mm -hmm. Where's Fox News? <laughs> They always lean pro life. Mm -hmm. This should be a big story, and the doctor's black, so you know it would be a big story. But they don't want us aware of this because mm -mm, they want those doctors out there killing off minority babies. Ain't that amazing? But why didn't they interview the white girls? That's what I wanted. They, but they had to interview the black woman. The one that had eight abortions. The one girl. The worst case scenario. She hit. She hit her face. Man, yeah, because she, she killed eight babies. <laughs> but I was wondering why, you know, because. I'm going from another angle in terms of the media, how they portrayed this man. I'm sure it was a mess. He was a mess and all that. He was a nightmare. But they made him look like a mad scientist like Dr. Frankenstein. And I'm saying about him because they don't make the, the other abortion clinics in white neighborhoods. Those guys ain't looking like that. I mean, they might have the same. They make themselves look good. Yeah, yeah they know. Have I mean, Dr. Kevorkian, nice they made him look like a like he was a saving great the world. Person. That's he, right. He was killing people. He was killing Left people. Left and right. You know, so if that had been a black man, it would have been just like this guy. And I'm not condoning what he did. You know, I, I'm against all that. Right. But I'm just saying what the media, well, how they, about make, the media. How they make him look. Right. How, and was no, was no black, I mean, uh, uh, no white protesters, all black protesters. I told you we never see <laughs> these pro-life right. protesters in black communities. In the 70%, they put like their SSN. sign down. Right. They put They're their like, sign. Yeah, when I went up there, they put their sign down. That's amazing. And then the story With was, no shame. What was tickling me about the story, all great people described everything. It had no you black people. You know what? I was, I was no just No black people that. talking about in this In that documentary. Subject. Right. In that document, all the neighbors, they were talking about how the people were lined up. Yeah. And, and you knew something horrible was going on. And <laughs> I'm like, but you a neighbor. If you knew what. Right. And he knew. They knew. Yeah. Like the one white dude, he he said he knew something yeah. was going on. Yeah. He knew what right. was going right. on. <laughs> yeah. He knew. They were still you hear what like I'm a, saying? A, a, yeah. He, he knew what was going on. <laughs> yeah. Just didn't black babies being right, killed. That's killed. a good so thing. I don't care. That's and the, for them. Yeah, the right. everything. You know, the FDA, there's a certain legal umbrella. Yeah, it is. For abortion doctors mm -hmm. because abortion is legal. I mm -hmm. mean, you can't I don't understand I quite honestly don't get them and trust me, I'm not the NAACP. I'm not standing up for black folks that's wrong. Mm -hmm. Cause wrong is wrong. But it's an umbrella that, that says, Okay, you gonna die. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the point of it. This man started in nineteen in nineteen ninety six. They were having reports of people getting killed, mm -hmm. like from. It, it's like the drive bys. It's like if mm -hmm. if black gangs are killing each other, they just let it go. Yeah. Look how long those black gangs operate in the black neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. But in a white neighborhood, they shut that shit down the next day. Mm -hmm. Hell no, nah, y'all gonna be racist. Remember we talked about that last oh, week. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. not gonna let the white gangs keep killing each oh, other. No. White surfers was killing each other in in Southern California, uh -huh. just killing over surfing over territory, surfing, over waves. But they stopped that real quick, right, right. But black when it's black death, and you know, think about this: 
thirty thousand black kids are kidnapped or go missing oh, every year. One. Yeah. How many stories you see of that? Right. And you know what I hate about this Only story? Only one or two, and they on the internet. Yeah. But you know, another thing is like the media's, and I I don't mean to say this. It sounds the media is just showing that we can't even kill our babies right. <laughs> you know. That's wow. How, that's how they making this story. Well, <laughs> I think I think he was working for somebody. Oh, of course. No difference than like when. You know, when the Black Panthers was doing a lot of good work mm-hmm. and they created another organization mm-hmm. and, you know, they they sent blacks in to infiltrate the, oh, the Black did. Panthers yeah. and then the Black Panthers ended up getting killed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's brothers out there who work for them. Oh, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. look at the black leaders. They don't do nothing. Thank you. Don't but get perms and have nothing. babies. <laughs> and send their women off to these abortion clinics. Right. <laughs> Where is the black leaders? Yeah. The biggest liars on the mother planet. Yeah. Look at the neighborhoods, man. Nerdy. Look at the And they want to be doing media work? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can't do it. Can't I do mean, it. this is the, the most dirty. heinous thing. Yeah. When I seen that, uh-huh. even when I wrote about it in my book later on, remember oh, yeah, I wrote about it in the book? Right? A long time ago. I still didn't think of it like, like that. that. You were just like writing. Like genocide. It. You were just writing because it happened to you. Because it happened your, to me. It, right, right. Yeah. And Until I was watching this documentary and I seen the doctor come out. He looked like one of the mafia dudes. Yeah, yeah like he knew he going to get out of jail. Yeah, like I'll be home tomorrow. And I'll be home tomorrow. My lawyers. And he is yeah. out. He is he's, out. He is out. <laughs> yeah. No, he in prison. That's right. They do got Because he on trial right now. Yeah, that's right. And. This is not in the media, man. But well, they, well, they said he made over, he got a, billion, a millionaire twice over yes. from doing this. $15,000 yes. a day, wasn't it? $10,000, $15,000 a, a day. A day, you know. For, that's a lot of babies. And that's I seen a him, lot of murder. And he killed three people. He killed three people, 16,000 yeah, babies. babies in one area. Greetings. It is I, the Count. They call me the Count because I love to count things. In fact, I am looking for some things to count right now. Man. So imagine if we multiplied all the big cities and yeah. and say if there's 50 big cities mm-hmm. or even go farther than that. We'll just say all the mid-level cities, just, we'll say 200 cities. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we'll just say 10,000 to make it easier to multiply. Mm-hmm. What's that? Two million, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Two million people being killed. Okay. That's a holocaust. That is a holy. That's cost. a holocaust. That's like you said, genocide holocaust. It's no different. But with nobody knowing, nobody knows. They about let it. that happen, mm. and they make laws to defend it happening. And we're not even gonna tell you oh, how the babies were killed. As a matter of fact, now that I think about it, uh huh, that's the that's the only legislation that uh, our black president Barack Obama has. Has had go through, you know, when they were talking about relooking at Roe versus Wade and okay. making abortion illegal, and he yeah. came out as being pro-choice. Mm-hmm. That's the only legislation that that went that has not had a firefight oh, behind that's it. Right, you're right. I remember. Like, that. oh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Let's go ahead and keep Must killing not those be no black money babies. On that. <laughs> not, that's what they want to kill up them black babies. Keep it, yeah. keep, it, keep it going. Keep it going. So no wonder we think all politicians is crooked. Mm-hmm. Can't right. help it. They, they got a it. job to do. Like they say, black people are unemployed, uh-huh. right? In yeah. the hood, mm-hmm. black people ain't unemployed. They job every day is to stay alive. Oh. <laughs> that's a job. That's an everyday yeah, job. You just described it. When just they, to yeah, stay alive. You described it. Yeah. Because it, you a target, man. And you know, I gotta, I gotta throw this out there because it just that drives me up the wall. You know, mm-hmm. that lady in that documentary, she was saying how she was. Uh, a rape that's why she oh, yeah. went in there because I'm looking at her like if you see in all this why do you keep going to the back room ain't no way you're going to get me up in the back room of that place mm-hmm. but they said okay she said she was raped or whatever you were saying last week you gave us some heavy stuff about oh yeah my, your, my your, wife yeah. and that her child was the only child she, she had yeah, was if I, yeah. did she love that child my oh Lord. man yeah yeah but if that same woman went out and, and shot or clipped the back of the neck of the man who raped her, mm. she'd be in jail right now. Sure would. You got a good point, Essence. Now, if I was on a jury. What you do? <laughs> you hang them? You probably would hang them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I would hang them. But I know that, yeah. that, that's valid. Yeah. Only in America. 